There was a Pokemon that was only available for six days in Pokemon Go history, Shiny Heartrim Furfro, and another one that was just released Shiny for the first time ever, but only spawns in certain parts of the world, Oricorio. So today I flew to the best place in America to play, New York City, with one single goal, catch one of these two rare Pokemon. And if I don't, I'll have to transfer the brand new shiny Pancham which I just hatched recently from a 12 kilometer egg. And that would be tragic. Upon arriving in New York, I ran into my first obstacle. So as you can see, it's a snowy day in New York. How are you doing? You're from California. I feel like I look like I'm from California. <laughs> <laughs> so logging in for the first time today to try to see if we can get lucky right off the bat. And on the nearby, I don't see any Oricorio or any Furfro, which is rough because this is New York, and if we're gonna find it anywhere, it's gonna be in this city. I made a quick stop into the local REI and grabbed a new pair of shoes. Without them, I would lose both my shiny Pancham and a few toes today. With the new shoes engaged, I stomped through the New York snow all the way back to home base for a quick strategy change. Okay, let's see if we got lucky on the Go Plus so we don't have to go fend the snow. 10 kilometer egg. Oh. Jangmo, not bad. Oh, good. All right, please, just give me the shiny so that I can stay inside all day. Okay, we got a shiny Bronzor. Hey, that's fun. Wow, the IVs are good too. Cool, anything else? Nothing. Oh, also, this is random. Yesterday here in New York, I go plus this 100% IV bag on, which is kind of a cracked thing to get on the go plus, especially considering Salamence has a mega. I probably, honestly, probably should have evolved this. Boom, got it, done. Okay, one shiny. Also, it's crazy looking around. There's a lot of lures down because it seems like people are playing this event, but obviously aren't walking around grinding because it's pouring snow. And here's my genius strategy to beat the snow and catch the shiny. I will be switching this hat for this beanie. This may seem simple, but I used this in the Alaska video where we got Pachirisu, and that was a heck of an adventure, and it was way colder than this. But just because it was warmer here didn't mean it was gonna be easier. Okay, so here's the problem. It is 12 noon right now, and we've got planes tonight, which means I only have four hours to catch the target Pokemon. And again, looking on the nearby, I can't find them anywhere. Where we're gonna get lucky today, I think, is through the field research. And we're looking for the specific one, catch 10 Pokemon, which might be hard to find too. And the mad rush into the frozen city began. With the time ticking, I was frantically looking for any Furfro or Oricorio in sight, which proved to be much more difficult than I imagined. I have spun probably like 50 Pokestops. And all I've gotten were these two researches. I'll show it there in a second. It's another big hunt today and only during this event, much less pressing than this. Oricorio, who we've got in the wild here, which I actually have found a couple of on this walk here. Sid's also holding the umbrella over the camera. Can we get some thank you, Sid's, in the comments? Not destroying your equipment is the name of the game. <laughs> also the name of the game, Shinies. And right here, we have two encounters with ah, the heart Spinda. As you can see on the head of Spinda, there is a little heart pattern, which is really cool, and you can only catch this Spinda during the Valentine's Day update events. This is another field research that we'll be looking for and another shiny and exclusive encounter we'll be trying to get today. But again, the goal remains Oricorio and Furfro. And the nice part is it stopped snowing and hopefully it won't be snowing the rest of the day, which will make the hunt so much easier. Gonna spin these for some field research tasks because we desperately need those. And man, it is hard to find catch 10 Pokemon. Again, we haven't found one yet, but we do have one oh, Furfro encounter. First one of the day, but with the shiny odds being one in roughly 500, <laughs> this will be a tough one. But remember, the goal is to catch either a shiny Furfro or Oricorio. Either one will save the shiny transfer from happening. Right now though, let's get back to the girlfriend and get back to some nice warm lunch on this cold day. Okay, back out into the world. We've got about two hours, which is why I'm now deploying the number one New York City strategy when hunting here. Uber. We did this, I have 12 kilometers by the way. We did this over the summer when we were here in New York during GoFest for the 100 Shinies in 24 Hours Challenge and we completed it because, oh I got a rev room, that's interesting. You can find spawns in Pokemon so much faster while we're driving through the city. And I'm gonna drop the daily incense and we're gonna see what we can get. Any Furfro, any Oricorio, and hopefully some field research that gives us that catch 10 Pokemon, that catch 10 Pokemon task. God, we got catch 10 Pokemon, but it's a Sinnoh stone. That's the second time it happened today, dude. That's so tragic. Yes, we found one, catch 10, fantastic. This is huge. And boom, catch 10, we finally finished that and this can give us an encounter with Oh, okay, well, here's here's the downside. Catch 10 Pokemon gives either a Furfro or a Love Disc for some reason, or a Sinnoh Stone because the game hates us. Found ourselves another Catch 10 Furfro. God, dude, what is this? Get these Love Discs out of here, bro. Okay, then I got this. This was Catch 5. What does this give? Nothing we need. Oh my God, enough. Use this. We got a Flygon on the daily. This is insane. <laughs> 
the wrong flying. We're looking for Galarian birds on this, but that's pretty cool. And look at that, catch 10 Pokemon. Or a Sinnoh rock stone. And that's our daily incense, 23-0. Furfro or Oricorio. This is not gonna be easy. We're almost where we need to go. Oh man, this is not working out. It seemed like the hunt for this exclusive shiny was simply impossible. Until a Furfro spawned on the incense, which was just the reminder I needed. They were out there. I just had to find them. We have made it to the next hunting grounds. Technically at the Met, but we are at Central Park. All that, goody. And check it out, our next <sighs> Oricorio spawn in the snow. This is really cool. I am from California, so I don't really get to see this snowy background ever, so. This is fun. All right, we're gonna walk through the park and try to get as much field research as possible and as many spawns as possible. And although the car was a bit of a failure, which was insane, that's insane. How many Pokestops we spawned? We got like three of the spin, uh, uh, whatever the heck, catch 10 Pokemon. That was ridiculous. We got one fur fro in the incense. Well, the nice thing now is we're on foot, which means we can use our nearby to find more fur fro and Oricorio, one of which is right over there. Hey, I found an extra one, actually. We've got gun, Oricorio. Also, it's a snow day, I guess, so there's just like, a bunch of people and kids like on sleds around here. This is so cool. <laughs> and I think we still have another Oricorio nearby. Oh, one of them fled, but it's fine because, haha, -ha, we found this one. It seems like Oricorio is spawning so much more than Furfro. I can't find a single Furfro in the wild. I'm absolutely transferring Shiny to the end of today's video. There's just no way we get this. Oh, also a cool thing we have all the elite raids showing up over here. This is for Enamorous. Not doing these. Ooh, and we drif drifted, dr drifted into Oricorio. This is. So cool. You're like dodging kids almost hitting you on, on sleds. This is the, this, I feel like I'm in a movie right now. The only thing that could make this better is if this Oricorio was shiny. Also, the, the shiny Oricorio, it looks no different. I, I won't know until it sparkles. And it's gonna sparkle. Okay, was able to find the next catch 10 Pokemon thing. Gonna hit this Flabebe. And here we go. Can we at least see our first Furfro from the research? Though we love this. It's a fur fro. Yes, dude. Obviously, it's not. Dude, okay, talking about shinies. Shiny Oricorio looks like this. It's kind of underwhelming. Honestly, the other regional shinies look better. But shiny fur fro looks like this, which is way nicer, way cooler, and its forms look fantastic too. Speaking of its forms, here is the uh, Valentine's Day form which I changed to last year, and actually back in 2022 as well, so that's kind of cool. We've got one from every year. And to keep that uh, going, let's get the heart trim from 2024 as well, because even if we don't get the shiny, it's still a really, really cool thing to have. But don't worry, friends. We'll get the sh it's, it's not even spawning. How beautiful is this? Oh, okay, even more beautiful, I have another catch 10. This is another fur fro encounter. No, it's another love disc encounter. That's like what, three love disc, one fur fro? They're not making it easy. It's okay, game wouldn't be fun if it's easy. Plus look, we still have all of these Pokestops to run through and hopefully get more in the entirety of Central Park to wander through. And then we're going back into the city. I honestly think that's where we get most of our luck. Been a long and cold road, but we have our next Oricorio spawn. Ah, oh, it fled. Okay, that's cool. I also have found nothing for field research, but check it out, we're walking into this huge cluster, which is, I think, the zoo here in New York and Central Park. So hopefully we find something good there. Another incense oricorio. God, no worries though, because I found one in the wild. Where'd it go? It's over there. It, it's there, I promise. Okay, listen, the Pokemon fled, and it's in this park behind me somewhere. It's like a Obstacle course. It's not. It's like a little wall. Oh, it's closed. It's closed. Never mind. That was not worth it. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Wait. It's the same one. <laughs> I can't get you, mates. I'm sorry. I can't save you. <sighs> Walking out of Central Park. I got nothing. My game crashed. Walking out of Central Park, my game crashed. This is not looking good for us at this point. Oricorio is the most common thing in the wild and it's rare. More often I'm finding it on the incense. And Furfro, can't find it anywhere. And the Catch 10 Pokemon tasks are super rare and usually we'll get a love disc from them. It might be looking like a shiny transfer kind of day. Now I do have right here, I have three Spinda with the heart. Let's get some great curveballs, shall we? Second one here, nothing. Spinda, man, I do not have the shiny heart Spinda, right? I got this one. This one, this one, this one, th correct. Okay, we now officially begin our venture into the city. We're gonna walk down this, these streets and then eventually end up at Bryant Park, somewhere where we spent a lot of time during the 100 Shiny Pokemon Challenge here in New York City during GoFest. So again, I'm hoping that these GoFest strategies translate to today. And we found it, our first city encounter. It's an Oricorio and field research, we gotta catch 10. And look at that, another Oricorio in the incense. And we have another potential fur fro. 
God. Okay, I had a break. We got lucky. We got three field research, two are catch 10, one is a spinda. This is a field research hunt today, apparently. Number one, it's a fur fro, it's a fur fro. Number two, it's another fur fro. Okay, this is, this is good. The downside is we have to be back, spinda at the homestead in about an hour. So we have a long walk through the city, but that doesn't feel like enough time to catch this shiny. Oh, we got one in the nearby. It's right in front of us. This is big. Here he is. No. If we're gonna find what we're looking for today, it is absolutely gonna be in all of that. This is where we should have been all day long. This looks like GoFest. This is crazy. Okay, let's get it. Found another one. It is an Oricorio Omni Incense. And we've got field research. This is a catch 10. Love disc. Okay, downside. I've got 5% left on my phone. Upside, we've got a spin down. Other upside, we have another phone. And we still have all of these stops to spin and this entire city to hunt. But just to show how hard this is to get these field research for fur fro, I spun all of these stops that you're looking at right here and we got like maybe one fur fro check and it was a love disc. We do have a lucky Ori Corio. So I'm gonna switch phones and we're gonna spin the rest of this park. It's cool being back here. I haven't been back here since GoFest. This is good memories. Oh my God, and a, no, egg, leave egg, ah! They never hatched at the right time. In this shocking turn of events, we've got, oh, a wild fur fro, dude, no way. I know it's not shiny, but just to see it in the wild is so great. Wow, that's spectacular, no shot. Also got this. Wild Oricorio right next to it. If this is how the spawns were all day, we would have had this shiny already. It's probably not true, but I wish. Also, is it is that a clink? Wow, clink spawn? Okay. And from the research, we ended up getting another Spinda. Dude, <laughs> this guy I'll be surprised if we don't leave with today. But that was great. Speaking of research, check this out. I'm pretty sure if we look at my 100% IVs, I got another hundo today. I did, look at this. <laughs> we got a 100% IV costume diglet. This was in my field research stack since whenever this event was. New Year's, 100% IV poop. Not the worst day. And somehow I got two more Catch 10 Pokemon researches. I completed them both. This could be big. <sighs> Love disc. And the second one, at least it's a fur fro. Time was now starting to run out and I had to hop into another Uber to get back home in time. The life of my beloved shiny Panchan was flashing before my eyes, but then out of nowhere, it happened. Oh my God. It happened, sort of. Sorry, I was in conversation with the Uber driver. Very nice guy, shout out to that guy. And look at what we got. The heart shiny Spinda. And kind of a cool thing, check it out. So Spinda right here, see the heart, see the heart. But with the shiny, here's a little Easter egg, it's got a broken heart. Now I'm pretty sure it's not gender because look, these two are different genders and the heart's the same, but this, is the shiny, and as you can see, the heart on Spinda is broken. And we did end up getting an exclusive Valentine's Day shiny, the shiny heart Spinda. Dude, this is so sick. Again, you can only get this during the like four day Valentine's Day event every single year, once a year. So absolutely the rarest Spinda form in the game and definitely one of the rarest shinies that you can still actively get every year. But unfortunately, as you've seen, we've been trying with the Oricorio and the Fur Fro. We've got 38 of them caught today, nowhere near the 500 base shiny odds and it's four o'clock which means the hunt's almost over oh and do the two kilometer egg get out of the way bro no 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 on the incense prickly prickly fur fro dang and what i'm about to show you next is my favorite surprise of the day Want to see something cool? No, but do you want to see something cool that I got? Yeah. Oh, he's cute. Look, he's got a little broken heart on his head. Oh. Did the one with the, did the other, does the red one yeah, have wait. a broken heart too? No, so the So red the one red has one, a, like, broke, broke the green one's heart. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The non-shiny <laughs> broke the shiny's heart. Oh. But he's shiny, so he's better, so it's fine. Okay. There's a lesson there. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, that's the hunt, but not the end of the video. Because although we did get this super, honestly, super rare, super exclusive yearly shiny Spinda, I couldn't be more happy about that. We do have to transfer this, my newest, rarest shiny, shiny Pancham, something that just came out recently for the first time in the 12 kilometer eggs. The deal was it died if we didn't get one of the new shinies. And although we got a good one, we didn't get the ones, and therefore Pancham will go away. Oh, that sucks. That sucks so bad, dude, no way. Oh, at least we have the Spinda though. That was a nice little shiny trade. Well, hey, if you enjoyed the video today, click the other ones on screen because they're even better than this one. I'll see you in there. Thanks for watching.